SpaceX has been making headlines ever since the year began. They've been launching rocket after rocket, and they've been quite successful at it. And the previous weekend was a busy one for the company. They have managed to launch three different rockets in a span of three days. During one of these launches, they managed to set a record that has never been set before. This is a great milestone for the company, having set yet another record when it comes to this. Hello everyone and welcome back to Liftoff. Today we'll take a look at SpaceX's launch of the German military satellite as its second launch in the planned weekend triple header. Before we continue, make sure that you subscribe to our channel for all things Elon Musk, space, Tesla, science, technology, and so much more. And with that, let's look at this launch. On the weekend of June 17th, SpaceX had planned to launch a triple header. This means that they were planning to launch three different rockets throughout three days, starting on that Friday. And knowing SpaceX, they would never back out of their mission. This was a rocket launch hat trick. According to the private spaceflight company, they were aiming to launch three different rockets from three different launch pads in three days. This was to start on Friday, June 17th. On this day, SpaceX managed to launch the first rocket, which had about 53 Starlink internet satellites aboard. This launch took place from Pad 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. After that, there was a launch from California's Vandenberg Space Force Base on Saturday morning. This launch was to take a German military radar satellite into orbit. The third mission was back in Florida, launching a commercial communication satellite from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. These launches might be the tightest back-to-back -back flights that SpaceX has ever done. This is even with the fact that the company already flew three separate missions sometime earlier this year, between January 31st and February 3rd. One of these flights also set a record for the company and in the space industry. The Falcon 9 rocket that managed to launch on Friday, June 17th, which was called Starlink 419, set a record for the most reusable flights from a single rocket. It was the 13th flight, and it was unlike any other Falcon 9 rocket flight. It launched from Pad 39A, the same pad that the Apollo mission that took people to the moon launched from. During a mission description by SpaceX, it said that the Falcon 9 first stage had already flown nine Starlink missions and four commercial flights. When SpaceX CEO Elon Musk unveiled the company's latest version of the workhorse, the Falcon 9, he said that the booster was specifically designed to complete up to 10 separate flights. This specific version of the workhorse is known as the Block 5 variant. Later, according to a June 10th report by Aviation Week, the private spaceflight company changed its goal of flying the Falcon 9 rockets at least 15 times before officially retiring them. We can say that they are almost there, having launched the same rocket 13 times now. But then again, this is expected because the space company has achieved what no other space company has achieved. We also know that, for quite some time now, the space company has been working on fully reusable rockets as it aims to cut down on the cost per launch. Now they have actually done it, and they have managed to build the first stage of the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets to be fully reusable. They are even breaking their own records now, and they are not stopping. According to Aviation Week magazine, despite all the launches that SpaceX is doing, the company has about 21 Falcon rockets in its stable just waiting to be launched soon. SpaceX's Vice President of Customer Operations and Integration, Jessica Jensen, told Aviation Week's Irene Klotz that the Falcon 9 flight components are now tested up to four times their fatigue life for 15 missions. After the first launch that occurred on Friday, SpaceX went over to its launch pad at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California, where they launched Sarah 1. This is a synthetic aperture radar remote sensing satellite that was developed for the German military. The satellite itself was built by Airbus. Airbus wrote a statement saying, Sarah is a new operations reconnaissance system consisting of several satellites and a ground segment, which was developed on behalf of the German Bundeswehr. As the successor system, it replaces the SAR loop system currently in service and offers significantly enhanced capabilities and system performance. 
So, on Saturday, June 18th, a two-stage SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. Even though it was pretty foggy, the rocket still managed to lift off on Saturday at 10.19 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. After the launch, the Falcon 9's first stage came back to Earth for a vertical touchdown at Vandenberg. This happened about eight minutes after liftoff. According to the SpaceX officials who were speaking during the broadcast, this was the third time that this booster was used and landed. After the first stage managed to touch down, a SpaceX announcer said during the broadcast, Welcome back, Falcon 9. The upper stage, on the other hand, was to continue launching SARA-1, a radar satellite that will primarily be used by the German military. According to EverydayAstronaut.com, the satellite will also be operated by a handful of rideshare spacecraft. This launch was the second mission in the trifecta that SpaceX had already planned to pull off. This was a plan to launch three separate rockets in a span of 36 hours. According to a mission description by SpaceX, the Falcon 9 that flew on Saturday supported a first stage with two launches under its belt, and both of them were for the U.S. National Reconnaissance Office. SpaceX managed to complete its triple header on Sunday when it launched a Global Star communication satellite from Cape Canaveral. This came after the second mission that saw the German satellite taken into orbit. The Global Star launch managed to set a record for the fastest three-flight cadence for an orbit-class rocket in modern space history. On the other hand, these three launches marked the 158th, 159th, and 160th Falcon 9 flights for SpaceX. The flights also happened in just 36 hours and 18 minutes. But this is not the end for SpaceX. There are more than 50 launches that are scheduled for this year alone. Sunday's flights began at 12.27 a.m., and it saw the third Falcon 9 rocket launch from Pad 4 at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. It lit up the overnight sky as it made its way to the northeast over the Atlantic Ocean. About two and a half minutes after the launch, the first stage separated, and it started making its way to an offshore drone ship that was waiting for it. The second stage then continued with its climb into space. And finally, at around 2.20 a.m., the Global Star FM-15 satellite was released to fly on its own. This brought SpaceX's third flight in less than two days to a successful close. Global Star operates a constellation of satellites that provides voice and data services to users all over the world. The FM-15 satellite was built as a spare more than 10 years ago, and it is now needed to help increase network capacity for Global Star satellite phone users and for data transmission. These three consecutive launches just continue to mark a busy year for SpaceX. So far, since 2022 began, Elon Musk's SpaceX has managed to complete 25 successful missions. If you look at it critically, you might see it as one mission per week. As much as SpaceX is still busy with completing its missions, it is also working on its next-generation transport rocket that could potentially change the entire industry. This is a huge rocket spaceship that is known as the Starship. So far, the company is so close to performing the very first orbital flight test of Starship. We might see this launch in a couple of months, now that a U.S. Federal Aviation Administration environmental review is being worked on. SpaceX has managed to revolutionize the entire space industry, breaking some of the largest milestones in history. And all this success comes from the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket, which has played a huge role in making the launches cheaper. Because of this, the company has managed to get a lot of contracts to launch satellites and even launch some astronauts to the International Space Station. And with many more launches planned in the future, we can expect to hear a lot more from SpaceX. What do you think of the launches that have been completed recently? Feel free to let us know in the comments section below. Also, before you go, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for all things Elon Musk, space, Tesla, science, technology, and so much more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.